in this video we're going to learn how to make a complex cochlea or a standard cochlea really uh, this is just a follow up this is a follow up from um, video 2 lesson 2 and we're going to make the, the cochlea accept more operations instead of just the plus sign we're going to make it accept divide and multiply and uh, subtract and all that and we're going to use the statements the F statement and the um, else statement and the then statement which is all in the F, F statement alright first we're going to need we're going to need to change we're going to need to have some um, commands like a normal cog layer, oh, it's got the numbers and all that, we're just going to use four commands for add, subtract, multiply and divide, alright, the size doesn't really matter, you could do whatever you want with it later, and uh, we're going to rename it, we're going to rename the caption to plus, second caption to minus, um, third one to multiply and the fourth one to divide that's it so we've got four commands each one's got a sign now we're gonna have to rename them so we want so we'd remember which um which is which at the moment we just got command one command two command 3 and command 4. We won't know which is the divide one and which is the add one and which is the multiply one so we're going to rename them we're going to rename this the, the add one to cmd plus the subtract one to cmd sub and multiply it to cmd mol divide to cmd diff alright now what we want to do is make the <coughs> sorry make make label 1 change the caption when we click these commands so for example if I click the subtract command I want label 2 to display the minus sign and if I click divide, I want the lab label one to, I mean label one to display the divide sign. So the way we do this is we just double click the command and we say label one dot caption equals cmd plus dot caption or we can say label one dot caption equals you know just quotes and plus sign or whatever well let's just do it this way now and we go to the second one which is the minus and we do the same thing we say label one caption equals cmd um, subtract we call it cmd sub dot caption and uh, the fourth one same thing same label label one dot caption equals cmd or mo dot caption and the fourth one exact same thing label one dot caption equals cmd div dot caption so we run it now we press minus and uh, yeah
video. I misspelled it. I wrote caption instead of caption. Twice. Alright, let's do it again. There it is, it worked. I'm going to click plus, it displays plus, multiply, displays multiply, divide, same thing. Alright, now the next thing. The next thing is going to be um, the calculate command. Alright, so we go back, we delete what we wrote from from before, from the previous lesson, completely we want it to be blank, and we say we're not going to use any variables at the moment. We're going to use them in lesson four or five. So we're just going to use the f statement a lot. So we say if label one dot caption equals label equals um we could just do equals quotes and like plus then text one dot I mean text three dot text equals val which is the value of text one plus val of text two so we have text three text three dot text equals the value of text one plus value of text two. This is text one, this is text two, and this is text three. Let's try it. Oh yeah, wait, we have to close the if. The way we use if, if has to have a then and an end if and an else. It doesn't. It doesn't always have to have an else, but sometimes it needs it. In this case, it's going to have an else. We're going to say else if label one dot caption equals um what was the other one minus then um what's the mistake else if there is no space between else and if. Then same thing. We just uh, copy and paste the statement above. Then text three dot text equals val text one, and we change the sign from plus to minus. And again, we just copy and paste the top statement. And it's going to be else label one dot caption equals divide this time. Then text three dot text equals value of text one divided by value of text two. And the last statement is just going to be else, else, not not else if, just else. Text three text equals val of equals val of text one multiplied by val of text two and to end the if statement we need the end if and if and there we go. And we run it. We have um, 10 plus 10. Click plus. 
calculate displays 20 we have 10 minus 5 click minus here displays 5 10 times 5 should display 50 and 10 by by 2 by 5 should display 2 and it works next um uh, Oh yeah, and to compile it again, you just do the same thing. You go to file, you click on um, project.exe, make a project.exe, and all that. Next lesson, we're going to be making um, slightly more complex programs, and we're going to be um, using variables. And yeah, we'll probably be working a lot with variables next lesson.